First off, welcome to our new channel. We're excited to add new long haul videos once a week and hope you'll subscribe. Thanks to all those who've already shown their support and encouragement for this new project. If you have any ideas for future topics, please let us know in the comments. The logistics involved to hibernate an Airbus A380. Putting aircraft into storage is a well-worn topic this year. Every day, another plane from another airline heads off to long-term parking. But few get the attention the A380 does. Airbus's giant flying folly is turning up in long-term airport parking lots around the world. Alas for the owners, it's not as simple as handing the keys over to the valet and walking away. Emirates has been flying some of its Airbus A380 aircraft just 30 miles from their normal home at Dubai International Airport to Dubai World Central for storage. Eerie photos released by the carrier show the fleet grounded at the unfinished airport. Even standing still, the A380 sucks up money and resources. What's involved in putting an A380 into long-term storage? To begin with, the aircraft needs to be prepared for its time in storage. Whether it's a Cessna or an A380, there are certain procedures common among all aircraft. However, the bigger the plane, the bigger and more cumbersome the job. It's a very challenging environment that we're going through locally and globally. We do have some constraints when it comes to finding enough parking for so many aircraft. This program requires a lot of labor and our average requirement on a daily basis is 3,500 hours to deal with both categories short and long term. One of the biggest challenges with so many large aircraft around our jet base at the moment is when we're moving them we have to be really careful that we don't have uh, any sort of wingtip to wingtip uh, collisions. So as you'll see, we have people wing walking around the aircraft right now. They also are carrying air horns and radios in order to stay in contact to make sure that we don't bring any two aircraft together. Getting the A380 ready for long-term storage. Typically, cleaners scrub the interior of the aircraft, giving it a deep clean. In the current era, the level of cleanliness may be even more rigorous than usual. A high-grade disinfectant is used and surfaces are wiped down. The aircraft's exterior will usually get a good scrub as well. They'll, they'll wash pretty much like you wash a car. I mean, every square inch, it'll, that's, that's, not, uh, that's not covered up. They'll wash, wash it and make it look like a brand new airplane. I mean, they built up a lot, of, a lot of crud and dirt over six months between washes, scheduled washes. That's the dirtiest part of the airplane, like the, uh, from the landing gear and the hydraulic fluid run back. So that's where they really want to scrub, the underside. All the external holes and ports around the aircraft's exterior are covered. This includes the pitot and static sensors. Insects like to make their homes in these places if left unchecked. The same goes for fuel venting holes and the auxiliary power unit. The travaux are assez, assez variés, essentiellement autour de la protection de l'avion contre l'intrusion des corps étrangers. Donc, on a des travaux de purge de réservoirs carburants pour éviter le, le développement des, des bactéries. On a des travaux de vérification et d'essai des commandes de vol. On a également des travaux sur le train d'atterrissage pour assurer la bonne lubrification des roulements et la maîtrise du vieillissement des pneumatiques. These holes can get mistaken by birds as a rather nice nesting place. We make sure these are fully covered when we store the aircraft and put them to bed, says Qantas head of maintenance, John Walker. Furthermore, antifungal agents often go into the fuel tanks, hydraulic fluid is applied to the landing gear to protect it from rust, and critical cables may also need lubricant applied. Moisture, which hastens corrosion, is always a problem when parking planes long term. That's why airlines like parking their planes in dry climates. Even so, an A380 typically requires over 100 kilos of moisture absorbers to maintain humidity levels in the cabin and engines. Many Airbus A380s are being stored at their home airports. For example, Seoul is currently housing 14 A380s from both Asiana Airlines and Korean Air, while Frankfurt has Lufthansa's seven remaining aircraft. Maintaining the A380s while in storage. But prepping the aircraft is only the beginning. Just as you wouldn't leave your car unattended at an open-air parking lot for a couple of years, you wouldn't leave your A380 exposed and uncared for either. It's quite a process to put the aircraft into storage, but once the storage induction check is complete, we'll then start carrying out the periodic checks every week, says Tom Vincent, managing director of the APAS facility in Alice Springs. The Alice Springs facility is a temporary home to several Singapore Airlines A380s. 
It's an arid climate there, similar to the Victorville facility in California. APAS and Alice Springs stands for Asia Pacific Aircraft Storage. As of early July, there were six Singapore A380s here. But while that may reduce moisture threats, places like Alice Springs bring their own unique problems. The strength of the Australian sun and the effect of UV light on our cabin and cockpit interiors drives us to ensure that all of the cockpit and cabin windows are either covered by the installed window shades or by attaching additional material to shield the aircraft from the sun, says John Walker. These big planes also need to have the wheels rotated every 7 to 14 days to stop flat spots forming. They'll either get a quick tow or be jacked up and have their wheels rotated on the spot. Engines will also get fired up every couple of weeks. It is pretty impressive. It's probably the, the most enjoyable part of the week for our guys when they get to check the systems, check the engines. It's a bit like owning a classic car, turn it over once a week to make sure and have a good listen to that, to that beautiful sound. Not going off track. Like having your car maintained only by authorised mechanics using bona fide parts, A380s need to be upkept as per Airbus guidelines. The big reputable airlines like Singapore Airlines are notoriously picky about their aircraft maintenance. Among other things, taking their eye off the ball has obvious safety repercussions. Of course, performance and more costly maintenance issues could arise as well. This means that while in storage, A380s get looked after as per the operator and manufacturer's instructions. Et puis pour les avions qui sont temporairement arrêtés de vol, on a une obligation réglementaire vis-à-vis -vis des avionneurs Airbus, Boeing et des motoristes qui est de stocker les avions, de les préserver. According to Emirates Senior Vice President of Engineering Ahmed Safa, storing each aircraft takes a team of 4 to 6 people around 12 hours. While the fleet remains grounded, Emirates maintenance team will inspect the aircraft every 5 to 7 days. Quick inspections involve walking around the plane to ensure that everything looks okay. More intensive checks will see the aircraft powered up to verify that everything still works. Tom Vincent says APAS follows strict protocols to keep the planes they are responsible for in good condition. He dismissed the idea that parking planes is a set-and-forget proposition. Instead, looking after A380s involves continuous and nuanced work. They're not flying much, but we are doing a lot of work on them. That maintenance is an investment, so we're investing in these aeroplanes now with maintenance and storage management to make sure that they are ready to go as soon as we're ready to fly. If a plane gets stored for more than two years, it usually needs to go back into the air at the two-year mark for a recertification flight. Airbus also requires full landing gear tests done every six months during long-term storage and before re-entering service. Long-term storage is a specialised skill. Whether it's the multiple control surfaces or avionics or hydraulic systems, prolonged storage effectively means an impact to airworthiness, agrees Satyendra Pandey, an independent consultant and formerly of GO Airlines. Heading back into the air. How many of the stored Airbus A380s ever fly again for their owner airlines is a million dollar question. Some airlines like Air France have permanently retired their A380 fleets, Others, like Qantas, are all up in the air about it. Speaking at a media briefing, Qatar Airways Chief Executive Akbar al Bakr is quoted by Executive Traveller as saying, Qatar Airways is parking its 10 A380s and they'll not return for at least a year and maybe never. The A380 in the Qatar Airways fleet was never a long-term proposition. As a primary user of the type, Qatar had never planned to keep the giant jumbos for longer than their 10th birthday. Indeed, speaking at the Paris Air Show last year, Al Bakr outlined plans to retire the first of its fleet in 2024. At the show, he said, We feel that the aircraft does not have a very long future in Qatar Airways' fleet. We would think about retiring those airplanes on their 10th anniversary unless something untoward happens and we need them. Some other operators like Emirates are stuck with the A380s for the foreseeable future, whether they like it or not. It's a hugely popular aeroplane. I've, I've said this many times. Uh, the, our client base grows all the time. People go out of their way to fly on it. ANA has asked Airbus to delay the delivery of its third and final Airbus A380 to at least October. ANA told Simple Flying, in regards to the delivery of our third A380 aircraft, it has been confirmed to be delayed. However, we are unable to provide you the exact delivery date as it's still under coordination. 
but most operators are putting their A380s into storage, intending to use them again in the future. That's costing the airlines a lot of money, so you'd assume this is more than wishful thinking. There are degrees of parking. Previously, Qantas has said that it would take a week, maybe two, to pull an aircraft out of short-term parking and have it ready to fly again. However, most A380s have gone into long-term parking. As a rule, the longer time a plane sits idle, the longer it takes to get ready for flying again. The ongoing checks and maintenance while parked may help minimize this, but only so much time can be shaved off. According to Emirates Senior Vice President of Engineering, when Emirates decides that it wants to reintroduce the fleet, four to five people are needed for the process, which takes up to 24 hours to complete. But that is why airlines like Singapore Airlines are paying businesses like APAS millions of dollars, so when the time comes, some airlines can get their A380s back in the air with a minimum of fuss and delay. When do you think we'll see more A380s back in the air? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Did you know that we publish over 175 stories every single week on simpleflying.com? Be sure to check the link in the description for more great stories just like this. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe before you go.